Yo, what's good everybody? Uh, my name is Connor and we are back again. Well, I haven't actually done these yet, but we're here um, doing a quick little Premiere Pro tutorial. This one's pretty easy. I use it on pretty much or on every single video I do, music video, commercial, anything. It's just a quick millisecond white flash that pops up and it's got to be one of the, the easiest and in my opinion, one of the best transitions. It's not tacky, it's clean. I'll um, give you guys a couple examples on how I use it. So jumping straight in, we have this music video here. So as you can see, they're cutting in and out of different scenes. One way to do it is going down here to new item, making a new color map, click OK. Um, drag the color picker all the way down to white and click OK. Uh, I usually just click enter on this, but for this one, we'll just say white. So next up, pretty much all you gotta do is drag this in to the start of the second clip and zoom in and just select a millisecond. So there, and we're gonna cut it and click delete. So now when we play it through, it'll give us a nice little quick flash. So then it's easy just to go boom and go to the next scene and another flash. All right, so another example, uh, here we have the same shot, but it's jumping in and out of a different, uh, with the artist in a different place. So now we'll drag that in. As you can see, it's just fully white. Get, uh, cut it to one millisecond. And we'll also copy that over to the next shot. So when we play through now, just adds a nice little separation between the, the three shots. So another way to do this as well is to go to effects, type up brightness and contrast, drag that onto the shot you want to have the flash appear and go to the very start of the next shot using keyframes, getting the contrast and brightness. And we're going to go negative 100 and brightness up to 100. Then we're gonna to go to the next frame and come down back to zero and zero. So now that gives us that nice flash transition. And you can just copy that and also put it onto the third shot as well. So we'll play that through. For a super easy way to do this, I've actually already created some CNRP uh, flash effects. So if you come down and go to flash effects, we've got a few options here. We've got the double flash start, double flash end, flash end, flash start, long flash end, and long flash start. So the ones that we were just going through were the flash starts. So all you gotta do is just drag them in and they're already set for you. I use these all the time. It just saves me a lot of work. Um, you can also just select all clips and boom, adjust, add them. So if you're doing something like this, where you want a lot of flashes, it just saves you a lot of time, you know, duplicating that color mat or having to do the brightness and contrast keyframes all the time. There's a few other ones as well, like the long flash, which are also pretty fun. Um, if you drag that in, it just gives you a nice, a nice slower transition. And then if we want to step it up a little bit, we can also add in the double flash where it just adds a nice little pace to it, depending on the song and obviously what you're doing, but the double flash is also quite fun. So yeah, there you have it. So all my packs are online at whothefuckiscnrpia.com. Um, be sure to go check them out. And yeah, once again, thank you very much and we'll see you next time.